Hello! Welcome to the stream. I'm Ryan Phantom. Take a fucking sip, babe. Uh, that was Fly By Night, 1975. Original pressing, actually, by Rush. Uh, the first two songs off the album, I believe, are Anthem. And uh, I always forget. What is the second song? Hold on. Best I Can. Yeah, I always forget the name of that one. Uh, but anyways, that was uh, off my new record player, of course. Uh, I feel like playing music off of this is really going to help me play a lot of the songs that I would usually shy away from. Like, Anthem, I don't usually remember that well, but Anthem is a very good song. The Fly By Night, as an album, is really good. Like, there are a few songs in there that I really enjoy. So, it's it's a good album overall. It's definitely probably... Pro probably number two favorite Rush album. I want to say 2112 is my favorite because that holds a special place in my heart for being just like the first experience to Rush I ever had. Anyways, uh, tonight we're going to do some read-only memories with the dialogue on this time. You may remember I played this with Knox a while back. I did the Turing voice. Uh, not this time, though. This time we're gonna we're gonna check out what the dialogue has to offer because I do believe the newest update came out. There are a few dialogue added dialogue. There's uh yeah I know well that's the thing Britt. Uh, you you had parents that were really into Rush. I dad liked Rush when he was younger, but he was never a huge fan. And then once I started listening to it, he kind of became a bigger fan of Rush. Uh. So yeah, it's time to move on to read only memories. Speaking of Rush, I went to um, I went to a, <clears throat> a place down the street called Joe's Albums today. Uh, they sell shit ton of albums, but like, I rock. But they sell like a lot of like obscure stuff, like like classic big band hip hop and rap. It, it seems like every time I go there, like y you know my style, it's more like. It's more like Rush and The Police and Cheap Trick and Pat Benatar, stuff like that. 80s pop, 70s rock. But they never seem to have much of that. But I was looking through uh, some stuff and I found a new pressing, a, a new re-release pressing of Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here, which is another one of my albums that I just freaking love it all the way through. Uh, I also picked up Metallica's Ride the Lightning, which is my favorite Metallica album. So I scored on that front. But I also saw while I was there, there was a, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was a double vinyl uh, Rush live album. And I need to look into it because it was like $35. And I was like, nah, I don't want to pay that. But I, I might have to look into that because they, it, on, it must have been pretty old. Because it, it, from the back of it, it seemed like they performed the entirety of 2112 live. Which I know for a fact that they didn't do very often. They usually just did the first three acts. Because that song is so goddamn long. And I'm not even sure if fucking Neil's back could handle that kind of fucking stuff nowadays. I mean, that's partially why they don't tour any. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm rambling about Rush. Let's uh, let's move on. Read only memories. So today I was feeling kind of sick. I'm still feeling eh, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do our best. Do our best. Do it every day, as they say. So let me just get this up. I might have to adjust the audio. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I woke up. I went to bed at. Uh, thank you, Knox. I went to bed at. Two, right? I went to bed kind of late. Oof. I'm going to have to adjust that. One second. I went to bed at two, I want to say. There we go. We'll adjust it in a bit. I went to bed at two. I woke up at three. All of the heat had left my body. I was cold. I was, like, pale. I felt like I was going to vom. It was bad. I must have eaten something because I don't feel like I caught anything. Like, I don't 
it's not it's like nausea so i must have eaten something that really just didn't agree with me that's the only thing i can think of because other than that i'm feeling pretty okay it's just i'm i'm a bit i'm a bit eh, in the stomach region right now i don't know man something something happened something happened to me last night and i hope it doesn't happen again cuz i would like to get some sleep tonight instead of just 1 hour of sleep all right. You know what? I think the volume was actually okay. I think it's just that intro that's loud. So what made me want to play this game? Could be a stomach bug. Could be a stomach bug. You're right. Uh, I didn't actually end up vomiting, though. So we're good. Um, so what prompted me to play this game? I still got to capture it. One second. What prompted me to play this game again was, A, they released it on the PS4, and I believe the Vita? Yeah, the Vita didn't get canceled. Uh, they released it on the PS4, they released it on the Vita, and they released it, re-released it on the PC. This is a new version from when the last time we played it. They added dialogue updates, I'm pretty sure. I think they added a few more cutscenes, uh, like random events, that kind of stuff. And they added ProZD. You may know him from internet meme fame. They added him to the game. And they gave him some dialogue. So I'm really excited to try to pick out ProZD. Because that's going to be fucking hilarious. Uh, apparently he does some voices of like the frozen yogurt dispenser guy. And like a few police robots. And I'm like, holy shit, I got to replay this. Because you may remember the first time we didn't play this, we didn't have the dialogue on. So this will be our first real experience with the uh, dialogue. So let's, uh... Voiceover on. Alright, that ought to be... That ought to be good. I need to remember to play this game. Screen shake. Controls. Yeah, we're good. Alright, we are good to go. Start a new game, boy. Me too. I'm also excited to hear all the the dialogue because, like, it's going to be a different experience not reading it. All right. But, yeah, uh, just to talk about the stomach thing one last time. Uh, I'll probably only play this for an hour tonight, but I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to play through the whole game again. So let's do it. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation yeah. and genetic this modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack I don't think this counts as dialogue, and that's why it's so quiet. Play and connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves high Roddy Tops <laughs> from TV Shante. However, some can't keep up with the fast paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, I'm worried that if goal, I press escape to up the volume, it's gonna like skip the cutscene. So, sorry, it's quiet. Organizations like the There's human text. Evolution, you can read it. Seek to slow the relentless yes! pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology. Will make us lose the very things that make us see i don't remember if this was this in depth it's been a while the rising tension below a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further oh boy and with this humanity's destiny will be altered forever there he is
My boy too. All our boys. 2064 Read Only Memories. A new cyberpunk adventure. Oh man, I'm excited to play this again. Holy shit, I love this game. This is one of my favorite games, probably, ever. I like this game a lot. Prologue. Pro Prologue. Pro Prologue. Oh, yeah, and this takes place at Christmas time. Wow, oh, perfect. Home sweet home. All right, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. All right. Good old Lappy. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Lappy. All right, headphones added to items. These are the GX Ultra Beats you have to product review. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Hello, Lappy. Lappy is a bit of a relic. When was the last time we're going to be able to use Lappy before the end of the game? Because <laughs> Lappy's going to die. I have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. Well, you can write a review for these dang headphones. You should test them out in the apartment first. Good point. By the way, I'm, I'm munching on cookies right now. And I know what you're thinking. That won't help your stomach. Well, it's the only thing really available right now. We don't have a lot of food. All right. How do I... Oh, I remember. Hold on. I remember you click on it. And then backpack. And then headphones. There we go. I heard you got brownies. Lucky. I fucking love brownies. I haven't had a good brownie in like... A month. Like a year and a half. I want to say. Test the poster and YML begins playing in your ears. Alright, good enough. That should be good enough for a, for a product review, right? Nice. All right, you should try out the GX Ultra Beats a little more before you write a review. Oh, God, God, God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Oh, he doesn't say God damn it. He says, God dang it, Bobby. Hey, maybe this time we'll be able to make our plant not die. No, don't listen. It's not a good vibe. RIP planty. Okay, can I listen to the sink? You can hear the sink gurgling in high death. Okay, that should be enough testing for the headphones review. The accountability remains intact right away. All right. So the dialogue won't start until Turing pops in. Don't forget, Turing's voice actress is the same one that uh, voices Clementine in The Walking Dead. And she also voices a character in the Back to the Future game, by the way. Selling your soul, bit by bit... Character by character. Finished. Now to send it off to the editor. There. Your big break. Surely your glowing review of the GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of poverty into a book deal. Surely. Uh, she's in, uh, I think, I think our character pops up in, um, episode two. Her, uh, her name is Trixie, I believe, if I remember correctly. Rick is finally out of the way. Time for bed. I like her character in the Back to the Future game. She does like she does like that old old school New York gangster voice. She's like, oh, hello. It's very it's very good. It's very good. I remember listening to it when I recorded it for the Ryan Phantom Gaming Channel a while ago, and I was like, is that Clementine? <laughs> I still heard it somehow. I was like. That sounds a lot like Clementine's voice actress. Yeah, her. That's Clem. 
or you could read some OK t- o- OK K O OK today and catch up on some news before you sleep. Coupon for 5.0 credits on back on Hassy Infinity. Hassy Infinity has all your daily calories with none of the nutritional value. Like the opposite of a diet version. Hassy. Rent mail. Another article. Another paycheck. It's all going straight to your rent. Hassy has returned. Hassy makes its big comeback to the stream an invite to come see the lighting ceremony of the christmas tree downtown for your from your friends at dr trico lee dds why would your dentist invite you to a lighting ceremony feels like a trap probably a trap all right get me out of here oh, yeah, i guess i can just hit log out right and now I can sleepy time. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Let the robot enter your home now. Hello. Hello, little friend. Ah, good. You're finally awake. It begins. Wow, that's weird. Not having to do all the fucking work is certainly interesting already. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? Whom's the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm gonna say what the hecky because Rar's here. Oh, I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands. But not as I cute as my voice, to right? Entertainment media using Bisac. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Say that again, but in English. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and night, make night. performance adjustments to your personal computer. But I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. In fairness, at least she's able to read the lines without fucking flubbing them every two seconds. Uh, a snag? Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. Well... An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. That's true. She doesn't have to worry about... She doesn't have to worry about it being live, though. Also, by the way, I was contemplating this being the mean to Turing playthrough. The mean to everyone playthrough. But it's like Undertale. I literally can't do that. I would consider it no great loss, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? I'm never gonna get those achievements, all right. Yeah, all right, good. I'm never gonna get those fucking achievements for being mean to people, am I? All my work was on there, dude. Don't fret. I did manage to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. That's awfully nice of you. It is the least I can do. Yeah, I said R.I. Because I'm a dummy. I'm never gonna get those achievements, R.I. It's nice, but you still haven't told me why you're here. I'm sorry. 
I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to Shit, I just remembered Bungo Chirk. <laughs> Something in my memory. I just remembered Bungo Some memory triggered in my head and like all memories came flowing back to me and it was just like Bungo Chirk. And I was like, no! <laughs> I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Hayden? You know Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in over a year. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. <laughs> Alright, start from the beginning. The beginning. Okay, yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I Oops. left. <laughs> Why am I your best hope? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. You thought wrong, squirrel. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. Never looked for a missing person, but I could try. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. <laughs> We'll see about that! Don't worry. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. I gotta say, I'm proud of mid-boss. Because, like... They... They they are, like, known for making games that, like... Like... Introduce LGBTQA, like, characters and just motifs to video games, and I'm proud of them for making it to, like, PlayStation and Vita and shit. That's, like, that's, like, really good, dude. That's, like, Toby Fox making it Undertale on PS4. It's, like, wow. And, and this, too? That's crazy. That's some good shit. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Why would they want Hayden? He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. Sure about that? I suspect it has to do with me. <gasps> Who are you, anyway? What do you have to do with it? Ah, uh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Uh -oh. Either to stop his research, or to take it and use it for themselves. Tell me more. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human-seeming, when you talk to them. <laughs> but they're just cleverly... Woo! We're our level! Woo! ...situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As
As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. Babby Turing. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know, one way or the other? How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. It's fucking deep, dude! How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? Holy fuck, Terry, I don't remember this. <laughs> I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Is anyone out for Hayden? I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late and has warned me to stay alert, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. The Avengers. The Avengers Initiative. Hayden is Tony Stark! Well then, I guess we should get started? Indeed. Time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. Dope. My Uber's here. Bobblehead. I can totally afford that. Lead the way. Neo San Francisco, Hayden's apartment, December 21st, 2064. Hmm, that's strange. That's strange, my boy. Huh? Hmm? Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Uh-oh. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Uh-oh. Someone's trying to cover it up, Turing. Perhaps a maintenance robot took care of it? It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Okay. Oh, a lucky break. It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Thanks. Just be careful. Will do. Will do. My boy. Doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. No! Now we get to hear guilt voice acted. Aren't you programmed against harming humans? <laughs> of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Ah! <laughs> Please don't. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. <laughs> the social contract, as a useful construct, 
is just as apparent to me as it is to you. <laughs> Sorry, but the inflection of that. I could, I could rip your arm off if I wanted to. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Glad we're clear on that one. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... You pussied out! You did the right thing, Turing. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. All right. Clue searching. Just like the movie Clue, starring Kim Turry. All right. Look at Plant. This plant is doing much better than the one at home. Pause off. Based on your track record, it's for the best. Pictures of Hayden traveling all over the world. Working at a company like Parallax ensures you'll be more than well off. Sentiment is understood, but you probably won't forget what Hayden looks like anytime soon. I forgot we even get to see what Hayden looks like. So we don't see much of him in this game. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. <laughs> it's because he's a dweeb, Turing. What reason would you have for taking this? You don't even own a ROM. Hayden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. This window here is where I escaped from. It is a considerable distance to the ground below. How'd you get down? I took the fire escape. Nice. Uh, of course he did. Long way down. Better be careful out on the balcony. I see something under those reference books. An iPad! Ah, that device. <laughs> I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. Looks like there's a place here for a physical memory card. Alright. Good to know. Just gonna grab this real quick. Without the memory card, this tablet is useless. Alright, never mind. Computer! Help computer! That's Hayden's computer. Sure is. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Do you know how to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. Why not? You hacked my door easily enough. Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. <laughs> I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Of course. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software, if I attempt to slice in. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. Turing, you're so talented. Can't you just download the knowledge from the mesh net? I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. Turing, no. You're so talented. The whole reason humans have always You're been better at breaking baby into boy. systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I lack that ability. 
You incapable of that kind of creative leap? Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds... I just don't think I'm very good with computers. Mo, don't say that. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot Turing's a painter. Turing looks Bob Ross. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. <laughs> abstract art, okay. That's true. Well. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Let's get back to searching. That good boy tearing. You have no idea how to log in. Rom component in Hayden's headset. Must have been in the middle of working on something. Busted. It must have dropped in on the skirmish. A few vintage video game consoles. Hayden was always a fan of old tech. There's a Mega 16, a Dural, even a Family Link. You gain the strength of temptation we resist. So, you'll probably become a rad video game wizard now! Television is looping through some of Hayden's feeds. Tech banter, Ted's code tips, augmented eye. No, not that one. No, not that one. No, not that one. Don't do augmented eye. Not that one. There's very specific reasons that have yet to be revealed that maybe you shouldn't trust augmented eye, all right? We don't know what those reasons are yet because we haven't finished Valhalla, but there are no buttons on the screen. There's no need to watch TV right now. Looks like an old high-density memory card. Something in the room might be able to read it. Like a tablet! Dang. Stick it in there! Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. Tablet's calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Bring any digital bells? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. <laughs> says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. Unfortunately, I know what Tomcat's voice sounds like, and it is not like Taco's voice. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. It's Southern. Tomcat has a Southern accent. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Uh, my city map. Oh, excuse me. I still have it is set up good, a user though. account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any longer. You like my turn better? Once that's finished, nice. Of, that's we'll nice of you to say. Of new ways to assist you. I don't agree, but that's nice of you to say. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. I just need to ask you a few questions. This is an exciting thing, I promise. We're gonna be able to see which voices are similar to the ones that I gave them. Like, I'm pretty sure the bartender and his boyfriend, I'm pretty sure those voices are like, essentially the ones that I picked, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure those are like, right on. Cool, bring it on. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and face. organizational manager that running face. the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. <laughs> Look at that fucking face. It's a face only your mother could love. Your mother and everyone else on the face of the fucking planet. I'll need
need to ask you a few questions, and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. It roar. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, oh, online oh. communications, <clears throat> and conversational speech? I could. I could, Turing. I could, Turing. I certainly, I certainly might, Turing. No! I, fuck you! I considered it! I considered it! I considered Chungo Burk! I have been considering Chungo Burk for the last, like, five minutes now. We can't do Chungo Burk! Fuck me. Um... Man, I don't fucking know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would I pick Vinny's name? Wait, where does it even type out? What the fuck? Oh, that's weird. It, it doesn't show up when I type it. Hold on. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. That's a glitch. Sleppy. That's me right now. Okay, Knox. Bye. No, it wasn't showing up when I was typing it manually, Brett, like this. Okay, now, alright. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm tired, man. Bingy. Benji. Benji. Bingy dunks. <laughs> Do you wish to keep this name? Bingy Donker, damn it. No, actually, Bingy Donker. <laughs> Bingy Donker. Bingy Donker. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Do you wish to keep this name? I do. I do. I love it. Thank you. I have. I can. I'm name. Harry Hamtara right now. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Um, that's a good question. What should we go with this time? It's fucking ahead of the goddamn time right here. Ahead of the goddamn time, you can enter custom fucking pronouns. Alright, let's say my character is a she. I don't remember if Thank I- Thank you. I have input your pronouns. I, I don't remember if, if Bungo Chirk was a girl or not. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Sure. We'll go with God damn it Turing. Diet set as God damn it Turing. <laughs> Are you sure? That's correct. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. Alrighty. In review. Your name is Bingy Donker. 
your pronouns are she, Does that her. sound right? And your diet is goddamn it, Turing. Does that sound right? Yeah. Thank you. B Thank you, Bingy Donker. See, is it Bingy or Bingy or Bingy? You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't Bingy. until later this okay. evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. All right. I'm ready to go. God damn it, Turing. There we go. I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one another better. Sure. It will be an efficient use of our time together. Thank you for escorting me here. Good friends. Let's head back to your home. We're best friends, me and the robot guy. Little blue bobblehead boy. This game does not auto save, so please be sure to save frequently. Chapter one. Neo San Francisco. Out of outer sunset. December 21st, 2064. You know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. My what? My what now? Have you been overwatering it? Don't plants need lots of water? It's actually a succulent. And since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. <laughs> a plant's named Wilty. I got it from a friend a couple months ago. How thoughtful of them. The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. All right, so what do you want me to do about the plant? I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Sure, Turing. Whatever you want. Excellent. The supplies should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. Bingy donker. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. Oh my god, Turing said belief like a pun. Look. Look at it. Look at it. That's all, that's all we ever need. That's it. Game over. Game over. We can end the game now. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Mildew. Time to give my landlord another call. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending place, a PUBG. request to his office. And considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. 
I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? Like a plant! I will continue to formulate a stratagem. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. I hate that name, by the way. Hand of Fate. Because you know what I think of whenever I hear that, right? I think of Torgo's theme from Manos, The Hands of Fate. It'll really pull the whole room together. Ah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a big Lebowski meme. You know, once we get the sink fixed. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. Tomcat, 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 Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Stardust, Stardust, Stardust. Stardust. Ready to head out? I have not saved yet. <coughs> oh, does he? Manos, the well, hands of this fate. Looks like the place. Assuming the flashing it, neon signs are telling the truth. I for the house when the master's away. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully, we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. Alright, let me save the game real quick. Probably won't play too much more of this. Because I'm getting a little... Oh boy. Alright, we still got empty slots. We're good. Uh... Fuck! Pull up. I wanted to. I wanted to check something. I kept. For some reason, I, I said "stick it in there," which is a reference to like an old commercial that, for a for a movie place that used to be around here. Hold on. Gallo, video commercial. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? These commercials exist. What the fuck? Somebody uploaded old commercials for Gallo Video to YouTube. Video, we have the best prices on the planet. With thousands of titles and a knowledgeable sales staff, why go anywhere else? Oh my god. So for the best prices, selection, knowledgeable sales staff, and convenient location, come to Gallo Video. He's not gonna fit. Fit him in there! Fit him in there, that's what it was. Fit him in there! Hold on. I gotta show you guys this. <laughs> Fit him in there. So for the best prices, selection, knowledgeable sales staff, and convenient locations, come to Gallo Video. He's not gonna fit. Fit him in there. <laughs> Go to Gallo Video for the best prices on the planet. Visit any one of our five convenient locations in Worcester, Shrewsbury, Webster, and West Boyle. And all of them are closed now, as you can probably imagine. Fit him in there! <laughs> Fuck. There's like three in here. By the way, I think that place started as... I think that place started as just a movie rental place. But... I think, I think it turned into, like, an adult video store later on. Like, or at least some of them were just, a, like, porn shops. Fit him in there! <laughs> and while we were at it, I wanted to type, uh, do Torgo's theme. I tend to the house when master's away. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. There it is. The master would not uh, 
approve. The master would not approve. <laughs> oh. Us. The total is 14. Do please give him the 20. <laughs> Just look at the fucking Torgo memes <laughs> hey, now. What about our pop? I'll be back with oh. the, the chain. Until <laughs> next time, Joel. <laughs> push, <laughs> push the button, Frank. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Hold up there. Oh. Got an ID? Uh, yes, I do. Hold on. The master would not approve. All right, looks good to me. Welcome to Stardust. Beautiful. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? Uh, it's my first time, but I don't think it'll be my last. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. I wasn't sure. Is the, I wasn't sure if that was Pro ZD. It kind of sounded like him a little. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights are having on your autonomic nervous system. Try not to let yourself get too entranced. At least not until we've achieved our goal. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Let's talk to the bartender. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Now, for posterity, my bartender voice, I think was something like this. Alright, welcome to Stardust. So. Morning, friend. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> Uh, I was wondering if we could ask you a question. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. <laughs> What'll it be? They should hire me. They should hire me next time. Give me a Hassy Spike. Hassy! So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Hassy! Huh. Does that sound good? Uh, yeah, dude. Huh. All right, you got it. Coming right up. Master Spike. Now, what is it you need to know? Uh, I gotta know what Tomcat is. Welcome for Tomcat! I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. All right. Thanks for the drink. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. All right. There's Jess. Oh, boy. Dancer. All right. Let's dance. And that's, my, that's one of my favorite fucking dialogue lines in this whole game. Let's dance. And. Heck yeah, let's dancing. <laughs> Yay, it's Let's Dance City over here. <laughs> I hey, what's up? Having a good time? How's the night treating you, buddy? Everything's sinking. Let's dancing. Let's let's dancing, everyone. All right, we're gonna talk to Jess. This time, maybe we'll not make fun of her and call her a cat. Because that seemed to not go in our favor last time. Do I have to rename it every time? Fuck! <laughs> Alright, maybe this time we don't make fun of Jess. Yes, can I help you? I expected that voice. I'm looking for someone named Tomcat. Do you know where they are? Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. 
So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to cutie cruising. And no, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. Got it. Good luck. <laughs> it may surprise you coming from a nasty hybrid, but I actually don't need luck. Even genotypicals flirt with me. Not like I want them to. And I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Understood. Let Tomcat know if we're looking for them, if we see them. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. It's Jess. She's the cat girl. <laughs> Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. Tomcat's here! Tomcat's here! The best character is here, other than Turing. Tomcat. 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 They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. Tomcat is here. Tomcat is here. They're here. Tomcat. 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 Yours truly, doll. Tomcat. Although, while I, I like the attention, it'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Nah. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? A friend of ours, Hayden. He's gone missing. I found a note saying he was going to meet you. Hayden's missing? Well, that's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Uh, yeah, we need to find that boy. How did you know Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most, uh, straightforward kind of man. You know why he may have gone missing? I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, oof. That might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with them, but... He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Oh boy. What's Hayden working on? Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but Turin is all I knew about. A computer runs on Lips OS. I didn't know ROMs did, too. Ooh, it's a powerful OS. 
and it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. <laughs> can you explain it like I'm a child? That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs. Within range. And they share all files the user hasn't tagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like NeoSF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. That's great, Dad. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pipes. <laughs> yeah. How do we find Hayden? Yeah, I'm, I'm not real sure, hon. But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. Fair. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being vanished. All right. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. All right. I'll come back when I have the data cache. Good luck. Turin, you you keep out of trouble. All right. I think we're going to stop here for the night, but first... All right! Let's dance! All right, Toronto! Uh, let's dance him. Let's save this as a... Let's... <laughs> Let us... Let's dance him! Woo! Let's dance him, one, 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 one. Let's dance him. We're good.